So in today's video, we're going to be helping Ryan out that he thinks that there could be a potential breach coming in through the sewer system and we're about to find out right now. All right guys, we're about to get started on a rodent issue that the client Ryan has been describing sort of intermittent. A little bit difficult job, but I think we can uh, get to the bottom if they are sewer rats. We're about to pull up right now. Thanks for having us out. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, where, where are you hearing a lot of the activity? Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually not sure where the noise is coming from. Got it. When was the last time you I had any? Like right here. Right here, yeah, okay. It's like some, some noise that I've heard. And how long has it been going for? Uh, about two, three months. Two or three months, okay. Yeah. I guess uh, Juan is saying that the roof is really slippery. Got a pretty good pitch for a single story house, but that means that the attic is gonna be uh, plenty of room, so. My boots, you guys, are... Juan is saying there's no way that with my boots I'm gonna be able to get on this uh, roof, but I wanna go because I wanna do a snip check. Maybe if I move the ladder. Like me and my neighbor, he's like, help. I think we did as much exclusion work as we could yeah you know at the ground level yep. and then at the roof level right careful uh, and so we're not sure like that, their access yeah like where, where their access is and the, well just because we don't smell anything there yeah. doesn't necessarily mean where's the bathrooms in this area uh so that would be one bathroom right here okay um that is another bathroom okay and then uh that's the last one okay so this could be an attractor as well, guys. Anytime you have a, a compost storage area and a shed, plus you've got some citrus trees. So if you have one of those, be aware that it could be a rat attractor, especially if the neighbors are impacted. Those rats are gonna come over and impact the next door property, which Ryan is suffering from. The challenge with his job is the fact that he doesn't have a lot of activity. The last activity that he saw is several months ago. So it's gonna be interesting what we find here. So we're gonna start injecting the smoke, start inspecting the attic, crawl space. Let's see what we can find. There's the sewer cleanout where we're gonna install our test plug and block the sewer. So it goes underneath the house that way. So we're injecting the smoke. We already got smoke coming out of this vent. So we capped that off and now we're waiting for the other vents to fill up. Yeah, the attic is definitely smoky. You can see that they've uh, impacted this duct insulation, but also here I found a uh, little burrow where they've been creating a nest. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but it's right there inside that hole. And there's a perfect, perfect hole where they burrowed and we're getting smoke in this area as well. So definitely something going on in here. So right above this spot, you can see rat droppings. This area right here. You can see, guys, uh, Ryan's vent is not terminating up through the roof. It uh, literally stops right there. All right, guys, so right off the bat, we're seeing smoke from that four inch. That four inch is not terminating, which it should be through the roof. And I see some insulation. And Ryan, as you know, was up here as well. He saw it. So I'm gonna take my ferret camera and I'm gonna run it up into that hole where they're burrowing through and see if we can identify anything. So stay tuned. Sheriff, he's over here. All right, guys, got my uh, ferret camera in here. We're gonna inspect inside this burrow here. We're getting a lot of smoke in this area as well. So it's all sort of coming together here. I can only see so much, so I'm gonna go ahead and create an extension here with this copper pipe. This allows me to, to bend it as well. Look at that perfect tunnel that they made. Absolutely perfect. Right there, see that? All right, so this is definitely a suspect area here. We know that it does not terminate up to the roof. So Ryan has given us the permission to go ahead and cut this. We're gonna use either a grinder or a cast iron blade. And then uh, once we remove this, we'll scope this out and see uh, if it's back and verify if they were coming in and out of here. So we're about to get started. Ooh, look at that gap right there, guys. Yep. On the camera before, you guys were seeing this angle. This, yeah, you weren't seeing that. Look at that right there. There's some secretion marks right there, too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up a trail cam. I'm going to bait this here, and uh, we're going to set up our trail cam right here facing towards the pipe and then uh you know we're going to monitor it for the next two to three four days and see what we can find there 
may not get anything, but uh, I want to verify if, if in fact the uh, sewer rats are coming in and out of this area. There's no other trapping up here, so if we bait it heavily with some good aroma, uh, we might be lucky. So let's uh, let's stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so Thompson's on the other side of the attic here, guys. And uh, what we found is uh, this is open here to the attic, to the other side of the attic. You can see, uh... hey, Thompson. Hey. Yeah. So that's another attic, huh? Yeah. Any grease marks or? Um, we got a little bit. A little bit. Okay. All right, so I relocated Ryan's ring camera straight to the pipe. So the good thing about this is that Ryan and now Ryan and I now can be in communication. If he hears any alerts, he could uh, he could text me. That's what it looks like on his phone. So we are set up, and then uh, Thompson's back over there setting up another trap. Awesome. And we'll come back and monitor here in a few days. It's a good find though, Ryan, that we found that open pipe for sure. Well, guys, I really like that find. Everything was right there. The droppings below that breach where the cast iron pipe had that massive gap. The nesting material not too far away, right up above. So I think we're onto something, but that pipe is suspect. So it's gonna be really interesting on what that ring camera picks up with Ryan. We're back at Ryan's less than 24 hours. We have already have activity. So I feel really, really good with that because I know Ryan was a little skeptical about our findings yet yesterday. I don't think he really believed that sewer rats were coming up through that line. So I'm really pleased that I was able to kind of take a step back, set some cameras up. And so I'm going to go in and modify and hopefully we can catch some of these sewer rats and uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours. So let's head back up to the attic. So what I want to modify or customize, guys, I want to get a sheet of drywall. Here's the pipe. I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to create a platform because what Ryan is saying on camera, as you saw, they're sliding down. So I'm going to create a platform, and then I'm going to put some snap trap and some glue traps. And uh, let's see if we can get some rats. All right, guys, we're up here at the pipe, and as you can see, the peanut butter that's smeared on the pipe. Okay, we're setting up the uh, platform here. We're utilizing, trying to utilize this insulation here to uh, not only get up, but also to get back into the pipe. So we definitely want to remove this. But now we're going to load this up with uh, some sticky traps and snap traps. Okay, we've got these glue traps here completely strapped down to the platform. And uh, there's Ryan's camera right there. All right, guys. So super excited to hopefully catch some of these big rats in that attic. And let's see if more rats are coming, popping through that uh, that waste pipe. If they do, they're in for a big, big surprise. Surprise, mother Hey, I know some of you are probably wondering, well, hey twins, why aren't you cleaning that attic? It really needs to be decontaminated. I've mentioned that to Ryan, but uh, Ryan just doesn't have the budget for any cleaning right now. His biggest concern is to verify where the rats are coming in and closing off to where the rats aren't coming in. He will deal with all of the sanitization uh, later on. So just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention because I know some of you guys place comments, hey, why don't you do this or why don't you do that? There's a reason for that, guys, when we're not doing something that uh, we've communicated to the client, but they're just not in a financial position to do so. So I just wanted to clarify that for you uh, if anybody had any curiosity on that. All right, guys, it's the next morning. I had several text messages from Ryan with more activity. One rat literally was so smart and walked around the top ridge of the plastic of those sticky traps. Brilliant rat. The second rat, check out this video, guys. He gets stuck on it. He stays on the outside perimeter and literally wiggles his way out and is hanging by the tail. Insane, right? This is why we're not a big believer in those sticky glue traps. I use them in this case because for sure I thought if I created a sticky glue platform 
that uh, I was guaranteed to get them, you know, capture them, but it obviously didn't work. So I'm gonna come up with a new strategy and uh, we're headed back to Ryan's here in a little bit. All right, I just pulled up to Ryan's. I came up with another strategy here. So let's get back into that attic and uh, let's see what we could do to get these rats. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set up traps. So what we've decided to do is net the four inch riser off. We're gonna remain with the sticky traps, but we've also put some snap traps as well. And uh, hopefully the rats that are still in here We'll head onto this platform to try to find their way out. We can snap them. I'm going to leave my um, airsoft gun with Ryan because he was explaining to me that the rats that were struggling, it was uh, one was, what did you say, Ryan, about an hour was struggling? Uh, it was like, uh, I, probably. Okay. There, so that's going to give him enough time to uh, to come in and, and take care of him with the airsoft gun. Okay, I've got, uh, Ryan, you've got the airsoft gun. I'm gonna give you some rubber uh, pallets here and then an extra CO2 in case you need it, okay? All right, well, I've, I've armored up uh, Ryan. Let's see what his uh, his shot skills are. But what's good about it though is, is that he just told me today that they've been on that, because with the videos, guys, it only shows a few minutes, right? But he says literally they've been struggling for 45, to an, 45 minutes to an hour. So that's gonna give him time to get up there. He thought about going up there, but he didn't know how to deal with that situation. So I told him if you feel comfortable, I can give you my airsoft gun. And he was, uh, he was jazzed about that, so. We'll uh, wait for tonight, another day. All right, we're back at Ryan's. It's been about three or four days. And uh, as you can see, all of the ring camera footage where these rats are outsmarting the sticky traps and the Victor snap trap. So I brought my brother Dave this morning. We're gonna do something a little bit different here, different strategy to try to get these rats out of this attic here. So let me show you what we're about to do. My brother Jim needs me guys. And we're dealing with some big rats as you saw in that camera. So we're gonna set up the powerful coral wraps. And what we're gonna do is, because they're so strong, what I like about these, we get to secure them to this piece of wood right here. We're gonna set up some different bait. You know, these rats, what we don't understand is they should be getting desperate for food. I mean, there's no food source in that attic. Their food source was down that sewer pipe and into the city sewer, but we've got all that blocked off. So we're gonna go ahead and set these traps up right here and see what we can get guys getting a little frustrated with these big rats you guys leave your comments especially if you're a pest control company what would you do in this situation what strategy would you use to get those big rats out of here so we're going to try a variety of baits we're going to do the typical peanut butter here in the center one we're so i bent that down and that that secures the slim jim just slide it up like that and then over here we'll do the uh, bacon these sewer rats you've got to give them variety what I love about the coral traps is that they have this cage in the back, so it prevents the rats from coming in and taking the bait. You can see the rat hair on the sticky. All right, guys, it's been really frustrating. These rats are obviously winning. All of the contraptions we've set up here, sticky pads and traps, we've set up a very powerful rat trap. The problem is, is they're not eating the bait. So what we're gonna do at this point is leave this open as what's happening, it's very consistent that uh, we're actually just seeing one right now, constantly coming up here, coming down, wanting to get out. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this open. What we don't want to happen is more rats coming through here. So thank God we've got these cameras set up because we're gonna monitor to see if we do have activity coming from the city. If we do, we're gonna have to close this back up. All right, so we're back up here in the attic. As you can see, no activity whatsoever. And uh, Ryan explained to us that since we were here two, three weeks ago, there's been absolutely no movement. He said the first movement that he's seen in a while is us literally coming up today, turning on the light to the attic. And that's when he got the detection from the ring camera. So, so today we're gonna remove all of this apparatus. We're gonna give him a studer vent. And then we're gonna go on the hunt right now in the attic just to see if we could see any dead rodents, but I'm not smelling anything whatsoever. All right, we're gonna go ahead and deploy these coral traps.
unbelievable footage of those rats completely getting away from these glue traps. So what we're doing now is big learning lesson here. We're purchasing our own bolt glue so we could utilize these glue traps but add our own to make them that much more aggressive and stickier because we shouldn't have lost those. Okay Dave's putting the four by two. Yeah so this will be it's going on like this but just for extra protection I'm going to stick our fused metal mesh in here like that and then what we'll do is we'll take a little bit to coat our that way it doesn't rust out with the moisture and then it also adds some adhesive as, as well. Now this technically should terminate through the roof, but the homeowner at this time doesn't want to go through the, penetrate the roof. So we're just going to add in what we call a studer vent, which is uh, often used in RVs, mobile homes. What it does is it allows the, allows the airflow to come in to push the sewer gases down into the, into the sewer so the sewer gases don't come out into the breathing space. I don't know where they went, dude. I have no idea where they went. It's not smelling up here. There's no signs. There's a little bit of sign of activity exactly where Ryan placed his camera, but I'm not smelling anything in this attic. I really wish we would have got him on those glue traps and that platform. It's the risk that you take though, guys, because a lot of times the best thing to do, obviously, would be to close that up. But again, I had to verify with Ryan to make sure and confirm that they were in fact sewer rats. And by doing that experiment, and proving it obviously allowed rats to enter into the attic. Just one of those things. Uh, anyhow, we've, we've got your sewer gas, your all of that we've identified. That's the good thing about this entire yeah. episode, yeah. Ryan, is that we were, we've confirmed and verified. You did a great job with all your DIY exclusion yeah. work, and that's where they were coming in, and obviously we proved that. <laughs> but... Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're here for you if you have any other Cool. Yeah, any if I smell issues. anything, like, uh, I, I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to look for it, I guess. So hopefully you were happy with the services. Cool. Yeah, yeah, Appreciate yeah, I'm it. Good. I'm good with it. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Wow, Dave, that was some amazing footage and a good learning experience. I'm so glad that we set up those cameras and shows you guys how strong and agile these rats can be, especially sewer rats. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good learning experience. It's too bad that we couldn't get them, but that's just the way it is when you're in this I industry. We, I mean, in a good sense that I feel like we really accomplished this job in the sense of really determining that they were sewer rats and Absolutely. we, you know, cut the pipe, put in the studer vent. So with that respect, I learned a lot off this and we accomplished the entry point, which is the biggest accomplishment that you can do on a property when you have rats entering into your home or a commercial property. Hey guys, leave your comments down below. Love to hear your comments on what we should have done, possibly a little bit different. Hit that subscribe button and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next one. one.